Your car got stuck inside the grocery store. Brown robot helper had to open up the door. We three amigos had some fun inside. Good food to be baked, boiled or fried. We were famous. We were legends. We were the toast of the grocery store. What made us beloved inside of that place? It's clear that we weren't from outer space. Why did my night end with me being blown up? Blown up. We were famous. We were legends. We were the toast of the grocery store. Civic pride. See that 
anything using medicine not using
everything that goes on in Hollywood is especially meaningful in my life. I can relate to the people who are movie stars. They're so much like me that I can immediately identify with their problems of drug addiction and having too much goddamn money. I understand them. I understand the plight of the spoiled, rich, fucking little brat Hollywood star. I can totally identify with their problems. Those people are so much like myself. I go to the movies and I, I watch it carefully. And I see the various Hollywood stars and their airbrushed faces. And I, I know, I know what they're going through. I understand because they're, they're, they're so much like the average person. And then I watch a presidential debate on television. It's pretty much the same thing as going to a movie. Everything I'm watching is pretend. None of that shit's real. They're actors. But I can identify with them. Businessman for 
always doing the best you can for making America what it is today. For making it so that we all pay.
It's the same old shit. It's not anything new. You copy shit. Go snort your fucking glue. I don't like the homo students, and I don't like you. Don't care about hipster shit, so go snort some glue. Fuck the dumpster with me inside. Fuck the joke I tried to hide. Fuck the fucking stupid scene. My ass is full of I don't like the homo stupids, and I don't like you. I don't care about hipster shit. Go snort your fucking glue. Give up. Is it really 
any surprise when people get fed up with the world and they take the law into their own hands. Is it really any surprise when we see these people doing these things we are shocked at? Is it really any surprise? Open your eyes, it's really not any surprise at all. We cover our mouths, we say, oh my god. I can't believe this happened again. But is it any surprise at all? We can pretend like it's a surprise, but it's not. Is it really any surprise? Is it really any surprise? Is it really any surprise? Open up your fucking eyes. I don't like it. I don't like the way it looks. I don't like it. Don't like the way it cooks. I don't like it. Don't like the way it looks at me. I don't like it. Don't like the way it used to be free. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't care for it. It's a mistake. I don't like the way it tastes. It tastes like nothing, 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 nothing. July, I'm planning to drown. Biscuit Buddy hurt his hand on an elk. I once knew a guy who made a shirt out of milk. Glittery substance sewed into the fabric made us sprain our nostrils and curse the dawn. While you are sleeping, kids kill lots of cops. A farmer named Thompson was raped by his crops. Chainsaws in Greece are served for dessert. Nothing makes sense except for the dirt. Glittery substance sewed into the fabric made us sprain our nostrils and curse the dawn. in Mississippi, I might like to eat. Grandpa is always trying to get us to feel his feet. An owl scoured the villa and found a drowned tot. Casey Kasem saw it all and declared Great Scott. Glittery substance sewed into the fabric made us sprain our nostrils and curse the dawn. Glittery substance sewed into the fabric made us sprain our nostrils and curse the dawn. Substance 
sewed into the fabric made us sprain our nostrils and curse the dawn. Glittery substance sewed into the fabric made us sprain our nostrils and curse and the dawn. 